Hey guys, just uh, thought I'd do a quick video for um, a bit of a workout challenge for you, um, just to keep you occupied. Um, it is three different formats of training, okay, and all I've done, I've kept it quite simple. Um, pick four moves of your choice. I'll show you the four moves that I've decided on, but if you've got no equipment, no worries, you can do four body weight moves without any problem whatsoever. It's roughly a 30 odd minute workout, depending on how long a recovery you want to take in between the blocks of work. Block one is where you, one, nail your technique, and two, where you set yourself um, your challenge for the rest of the workout that follows. So you've got something called an AMRAP. So an AMRAP is as many reps as possible. Set yourself a one minute, goal to smash as many reps as you possibly can then take a 30 second recovery move on to your second uh, move of choice set yourself another minute keep count of the repetitions you do okay and you keep going for those four different moves one minute per move record how many reps you do so the four moves that i chose to take part in the workout was a kettlebell swing now i haven't got a kettlebell so what i've done is i've improvised I've got myself my dumbbell, I've put a heavier weight on one end and there's a lighter weight on the other, just so when I swing it, I've got the heavier weight on the end furthest away from me. And I practice my swing just like I would do if I have got a kettlebell. So I'm snapping my hips forward, big brace of the core as the dumbbell flies overhead. So that was my move number one. So I did as so many kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings as I could for the minute, recorded my reps, took a 30 second recovery. Move number two I decided to do was a squat on a shoulder press. So I squat, throw the kettlebell or dumbbell overhead and again recorded as many reps as I could within the minute, took a 30 second recovery. Move number three I chose, why not, burpee, but I did a loaded burpee. So standard burpee, jump out into plank. As I jump back in, I picked up my kettlebell, dumbbell, stood up, did a jump with it, placed it down. Again, after the minute, recorded my repetitions, took, you guessed it, another 30 second recovery. And in my last move, what I did, thought I had a bit more cardio, did a long jump forward, picked up my dumbbell, high pulled it, put it down, uh, did a quick shuffle backwards and again repeated that for the minute recorded my reps now after that i took a minute recovery whilst i figured out what my goal would be going into the second block of work now block number two is an emon so it's at every minute on the minute so what i did looked at the reps that i recorded in my amrap and i set myself a target of half plus about two or three so I may have done, I don't know, 20 swings in my AMRAP. So I decided, okay, half of 20, 10, but I'm not just going to settle for that. I'm going to push for 12, 13, okay? Now, if you, in your first round of every minute on the minute, manage to earn yourself any more than 30 seconds of recovery, I would suggest you add on a couple more reps. So in your every minute on the minute, your goal is to do it five times. So stick with your first move, swings, whatever it is, and then aim to do 10, 12, 13, whatever set you've challenged yourself for. And whatever time remains within that minute is your recovery time in that first set. So I may have done 12 swings, I had 20 seconds remaining of the minute. That was my time to get my breath back before I then repeated it and repeated it five times in total. At the end of those five rounds, got myself whatever time remained in my minute plus 30 seconds before I went into my second round, which was my squat and my shoulder press. OK, again, look at your reps that you record in your first block of work, your EMOM, uh, sorry, your AMRAP. And then in your EMOM, then half plus two or three. OK, that was about a 22, 23 minute block of work. OK, because I was spending five minutes, every minute's on the minutes, four different techniques. And to finish, if you fancy a little bit of a kick, finish with the Tabata. So the four moves that you've just gone through, do them twice. 20 seconds of work, 10 second recovery, 
do it twice. It'll all be written up in the workout plan. So if you're not sure what on earth the workout plan means, watch the video. If you're not sure what the video means, read the guide. And if you ain't sure about either of them, put it in the comments below and I'll try my very best to uh, help you out. It's roughly a 30 minute workout. And if you want to get a sweat on with minimal recovery time, it is an ace session okay pick four moves that you uh, are going to challenge you don't worry if you haven't got weight body weight is always an option and if you're short on ideas again put some comments below i'm sure we can help you out have fun training with that team um, and let us know how you get on with the workouts